Yeah. I'd been to see Sir Radzik. So how did he take the news? Well, he wasn't exactly happy about it. I can well imagine. I wouldn't want the Zools plundering my estates either. If I had any. He wants us to carry on patrolling the area. 
There's nothing else for it. That makes sense. I don't think he'll come to us. So we'll just have to hope we run into him. I'd like to check out the big forest to the north, and then carry on via Ujits. Sure. Mount up then, and let's go. Please, can we stop for a bit? My ass is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll re-choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I hear they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. <laughs> There's nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Listen. Nothing to fear. We're with Sir Radzik, in a manner of speaking. What's the matter? These brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls... They... We've got to save them. Please, I beg you. Easy, nurse. Drinking, you say? Aye, sir. They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah... I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. <laughs> <laughs> Kuno, you know, the girl's right. If we delay, her friends will pay the price for it. I appreciate your advice, Henry. But it's caution that will keep you alive, not chivalrous deeds. You promised Sir Radzig you protect his fiefdom, and that means his subjects, too. Come on, it's not like their lives are in any real danger. Hagen's men just want a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Are you fucking serious? You know very well, Kuno, how innocent girls can end up after a bit of fun with animals like that. Well, I, for one, am not going to sit back and let it happen, even if I have to creep in there myself and try to rescue them. Oh, all right. It's not the smartest thing to do. But let's go and tackle those fuckers, if that's how you want it. Good. Thanks. Right. We better try and save those girls from Hagen's brutes. Let's go! Who wants their back covered? Will I never? Oh, my arm is stiff since last night. 
It's always good to have your helmet well polished before battle. Hey! I'll watch your right side then, yeah?
You want to have a scrap with me? Scrap? That's putting it in vulgar terms. I want to challenge you to an honorable bout of combat. <laughs> You've nothing better to do right now anyway. All right. You're a man after my own heart. Tell you what. Well, you're very sure of yourself. Come and have a game. Up for a g always. I've got some. Oh, that depends what you. I've got a shield, a jupon, and a very fine. The shield's got the Rickfald crest, a nice piece, handles well, and tough enough to take quite a battery. Then I've got this combat jupon. Not only does it look good, but it'll help keep your skin in one piece. And then there's this noble hat. It's not a lot of use on the battlefield. But if you want to look elegant around town, it'll certainly make a big impression on folk. And the girls will be fainting at your feet. Well, I could use that jupon. All right, but what will... After all, fine. This should be enough. That'll do me. You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. This will be the one. Henry, we'll see. Finished. I bet you're sorry you took me on, eh? Hmm. Your turn. We'll see.
This'll be the one. Now you. That won't happen again, surely. Good game. You deserve it. Sit down and join us. Dangler. Dangly Dangler. I like you. They left us some damn good booze here. And as my old man used to say, the fire of battle must be quenched. Of course, the only battle he was ever in was with Ma. But still, it fits. Anyway, I hope you'll drink with us. Sure. Why look a gift horse in the mouth? My words exactly. Me and the lads were just saying how we know nothing about you. Most of the folk around here have hardly been further than the village market. But you must have seen a thing or two. <sighs> that I have. I suppose you heard about the raising of scallops. Aye, I heard. And Radzik told me you're from there. But that's probably not the kind of story to go with wine and good cheer. Have you heard of Sir Hans Capon? I heard his name mentioned in Colleen, in connection with some wench, as I recall. A young dandy, eh? Yeah, <laughs> that's him. He's going to inherit Ratai once he comes of age. I run some errands for him now and again. Well, once we were at the baths together, and his lordship wanted to seduce one of the bathmaids. Naturally, that's what the baths are for, among other things. Yeah, but with Sir Hans, nothing is ever straightforward. First, I had to play strip dice. <laughs> That's good. Did you win? <laughs> I did, but I had to strip myself anyway to get into the tub. Only, no sooner had I done so, than his lordship demanded wine from the castle cellars, which is a long fucking way from there. I reckon you're a man who can't resist a challenge. <laughs> if I'd been sober. I went all the way there and back in my undergarments, and no sooner was I back, than he sent me to pick flowers for the girl from the castle gardens. <laughs> it's starting to sound like a fairy tale with three wishes. Well, actually, he probably did have a third wish, but he didn't get a chance to say it. How's that? Well, I got back only to find the girl's sweetheart, some guard called Arson Balls, well, that's what Sir Hans called him, trying to drown him in the bath. <laughs> drown a nobleman over a wench. That's Balls, all right. Well, Sir Hans was naked and drunk, so he didn't look very noble. <laughs> Anyway, I tackled this fella and saved Sir Hans from him. It could have all got out of hand, but it ended with only a few bruises. Sir Hans never got his way with the girl, though. All that trouble for nothing. <laughs> Tell us another. I was trying to track down these bandits who raided the Neuhof stud farm, and the trail led to Ujitz. I made the acquaintance of the parish priest there. Oh, I've heard some stories about him. Apparently he's quite a character. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. But he does keep his word, and he sure knows how to drink. A typical man of the cloth, eh? I don't know about other priests, but Godwin can booze like a master. So we ended up in the local tavern. What can I tell you? Wine, women and song, you know how it goes. Well, we lost track of time a little, and then the bailiff came barging in and tells us it's past curfew and we're to clear out. Was he on his own? No, he had some men with him. I'm not sure how many. It's all a little blurry. Anyway, we explained to him politely that we had no intention of ending our enjoyment. So, after a bit of discussion with the bailiff, we carried on. Next morning, Godwin was as green as a frog and hardly able to walk. And then he realised he had to say mass. <laughs> That's a show I'd like to see. <laughs> well, he couldn't do it. So he got me to preach the sermon. You? Preaching? 
You're joking. <laughs> well, I did my best. Of course, I wasn't in great shape myself, so I'm not sure what the flock made of it. <laughs> my word, you're a dark horse. Tell us another. I've got a good one about something that happened in Scalitz. I'm not sure Scalitz is an entertaining topic. No, no, wait, you'll enjoy this one. Huh. Well, <clears throat> we had a German as a neighbor, a furrier he was, and he was always blabbering on about how Sigismund was the best thing for this country and how Wenceslas wasn't worth a damn. Me and my mates got fed up with his horse shit. After all, he was insulting our king, and we weren't going to put up with that. Regular patriots, eh? And as it happened, this Deutsch had just whitewashed his house. Lovely and white, pure as the driven snow. And next to it was a big pile of fresh manure. Ah, I think I see where this is going. Wait, though. His wife was at home, you see. So I went to her and said, Good wife, sorry to bother you, but your husband is in the tavern insulting the king. And she says, Oh, God above, the fool is drunk and spouting nonsense again. So she jumps up and off she goes to give him an ear bashing, leaving the coast clear for our operations. <laughs> I can just imagine it. Yeah, you should have seen it. How those shit pies stood out so prettily against that pure white background. And then the Deutsch's son turned up with his mates. <laughs> Naturally, there was a bit of a brawl. And then the catchpole turned up and we had to beat a tactical retreat. <laughs> Quite the general, aren't you? A nice story, but let's just drink.
Good health to you, sir. Yeah. in the wrong place. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
Yeah. Put that weapon away, damn it. No! What was that noise? <laughs> Ow! Duh. Sure! Ah. Come on. Take that! We can still use it. Ow! Ah. Already, 
get out.
Good health to you. What are you doing? Are you poaching here? What the hell are you on about? I just found it is all. You were cutting it up right here on the road. What of it? A corpse doesn't need possessions. It'll be easier for you if you confess. You can't go flinging around accusations against honest folk. I'm going to the town to report you. You see if I don't. Take care now.
God bless. I'd like to just... Well... All right, sir. I hope I can be of some. I'd like to make you an offer. Have you heard about Pribis Lovitz? Oh, aye. I heard something about that. I'm bailiff there, and I'm rebuilding. We're planning to build an armor smith's shop there. And you want me to run it? That'd be great. Come and see me when it's ready.
I hope I... Take care now. I'm on it. I need a skilled swordsmith in Privislavitz who'll put good, strong steel in my men's hands. Are you interested? Well, now, when I'm on the verge of forging the most powerful weapon ever seen, the Queen of Sheba's sword? No, no, I've no time now for anything else. About that sword. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from me. They say the largest piece is with the Ratai swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... Take care now. Yeah. I'm honored that you sh I've come from Captain And what might the captain be want? I'm not a messenger. I've nothing to report. Oh. So it's you, the hero of Tomberg. So be it. If you succeed, I'll... we know that one of their encampments... I'll take a look there. Yeah. Yeah. 